Okay guys, we're in Chinatown in Bangkok. So we're gonna have a look around here. It's quite um, vibrant. It's only gone six o'clock, 6.30 I think. Guy over there selling his mango scenes already. Look at that, he's all um, rugged up across there um, on the side of the road selling mango steens. We won't even cross the road over here and check him out. See what he's selling it for. Let's get across. We have to juggle some traffic here because these, uh, these cross, um, these lines on the road mean nothing. So he's got mango steens, three for a hundred baht over there. Or three kilos for a hundred baht, I should say. Three kilos, one of those bags, hundred baht. So Chinatown is, um, th this isn't even the, the main road of Chinatown. This is just one of the side, side roads over here. And it's um, pretty busy at the moment. Yeah. Oh, we just um, caught the MRT over here from our hotel guys. And it is quite simple, it is um, six, seven stops. So from the Nana area, it's easy to catch the MRT. The MRT is the one that goes um, underground. The train system that goes underground. And that's the easiest one to catch. From the, we're in the Nana area, or Asok area. Nana, Asok, right next to each other. So you got all the guys doing all the um, food over here. Um, there's the big um, sign over there, it says Chinatown. On that building. You've of course got a um, KFC over there. Very popular over here in Thailand. And then you've got a Starbucks in there also, extremely popular, and McDonald's, all the usual stuff around here. So you've got the mangoes, uh, sorry, the um, durians over there. We have tried some durian, we, we won't be trying again. It's, it's not bad, but um, yeah, once you tried it, for me anyway, that's it. There's a street over there, guys. We're just going down that street. Thanon, Padang. Dough. This this street looks quite good. Nice, um, nicely paved over here. Look at this. Beautifully paved. A lot of restaurants, bars around here. Vibrant little street. Lots of lights happening. Bright lights. You'll expect that in Chinatown. There's a young lady selling her uh, wares and tears over here, coconuts. Look at that, Miss, Mr. Hot Dog. So you've even got a hot dog stand here in the middle of Chinatown in Bangkok, Thailand. There's a guy doing all sorts of drinks or sweets over here in that. Looks pretty good. So there's a few people um, eating now. Like I said, it's about 6.30 p.m. A few people are starting to eat. We had a fairly late lunch, guys, so we, we probably won't eat till late and we might just have a little snack. Check this out over here. All these little um, Buddhas and cats and whatever. They look pretty cool. They're all over Thailand. There you go, lady preparing um, all her food over here. She's got yummy, yummy. That's the man there. He makes all the he makes all the food. Or oh, he's got his wife. What is that? Chicken. Chicken. Yeah. All uh, right. Better look, better look. Okay. Uh, noodle dumpling. Egg noodle with yeah. barbecue yeah. pork yeah. and crab meat. Crab meat. And how much? And how much is that? 
Uh, 80 baht for that. So just under four Australian dollars, guys. Oh, we, we're not going to eat yet. We. So he's asked me if I want to eat, but I said not yet. So a plate of that will cost you just under four Australian dollars. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. You, you're not going to get massive plates for that price, guys. You're not going to get massive plates. Look at this over here. It's all the... This looks pretty good. We have been to Chinatown before. Um, we came here on a on a stop off to Vietnam. So we stopped off over here for four nights just before COVID. And it's quite vibrant. Look at this guys over here, shark fin. So you can get your shark fin soup over here. It's a um, quite a big restaurant actually. In there you can see all the chairs and stuff. Big Chinese restaurant. So I would imagine that'll be packed out later. All the fresh fruit over here. Check this out, what the lady's got over here. Platter of fresh fruit. Very nice, looks good. She's just giving us a big smile there. Platter of fresh fruit. Look at this over here, here's some of, some of the seafood going over here. The locals eating already. And this part here looks pretty packed. This is the main street outside. Look at this guys. Absolutely packed over here with, um, with everyone um, eating. This is the main, the main road going through Chinatown over here in Bangkok. Everyone's enjoying the atmosphere over here. Heading into Bangkok, there's a tuk-tuk guy. G'day mate. Yeah, they're all friendly over here. All of them are friendly. So you, uh, one of the ladies has just said this is the Arawat Road, but... Which is the main drag through. Main drag through Chinatown. There's the old durian again. Durian's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And I would say it's a season because I've seen when we ate some, it was nice and soft and mushy. And um, I've seen a lot of people eating it on the road and it's very soft. And so it is a season for it. So this is the best time to be trying it if you want to try durian. <coughs> There's some um, chestnuts over there. This restaurant looks pretty good. Live, live band going to play there later by the looks of it. This stuff here guys, the pomegranate juice. See this? Pomegranate juice, very very nice. I love it. It's a beautiful tasting juice, very refreshing. Yes, yeah, pomegranate, beautiful. Yeah. And you know, that there is the pomegranate, guys. If you're not familiar with pomegranate, that's pomegranate. Not a lot of flesh on it. That's a seed in the middle, so it's quite a big seed. So it's fresh. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. And that's a guy just collecting the garbage here. Yeah, I didn't even hear. Thank you. So here's more chestnuts. Chestnuts is very popular over here. Yeah, look at this poor fellow over here. He's um, 
he's stuck in the he's stuck in the fish pond over here there's four of them in there could be someone's dinner tonight More street food going on over here. Looks like uh, fish, fried, deep fried fish. They set up so well over here, guys. They set up their carts. They've only got a small work, working area. Check this out. A young lady doing a, um, a meat over here, skewers. They set it up well. I mean, look at the small working space. But she does everything here without complaining. Look at that. And then they serve you also. How good's that? And that there's just a bit of a view of Yarrawat as we make our way across over here. Thank you. Yeah, they stopped over there for me. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, quite good. So we're just heading the other, the other side of Yarrawat Road. The main um, road through Chinatown in Bangkok. Another nice restaurant. All the restaurants look pretty good. Here we go. These drinks over here. They're all... Um, most of them are 60 baht. There's a few down the bottom for 45 and there's one over there for 69. So you're getting all sorts of good... Those juices are really good. I've had quite a few of them since we've been here. Now remember last time we were here, they had a lot of the um, side of the road full of um, stalls and that. But it doesn't look like it's happening like this now. They would have changed things around a bit. It, it is a Wednesday night. So it probably won't get as busy as a weekend. But nevertheless, it is quite vibrant. We'll try and go down one of the one of the soys, see what's down there. As we work our way through the crowds and down um, the Arawat Road in Chinatown in Bangkok. Look at this, guys! All the nice ice creams over here. They've got heaps of ice streams over there. Hello. And um, yeah, they look all nice and fresh and that. Here's some waffles going on here. They, they haven't got anything in there yet, but that's the waffle machines. So yeah, this here is the part that they've blocked off. As you can see, the witches' hats over there. To your right. Um, They'll block that, they've blocked that off so the guys, the guys and girls have set up their stalls along there and um, it'll be um, closed to traffic later on. But there are still a lot of stalls set up further in on the sidewalk over here. We, we might just have some uh, nibblies later from the, from the street uh, food stalls because their food's always pretty good. Uh, we might head down, down this road here and see what's down here. No, it doesn't look, it doesn't look too busy down there. It doesn't look too busy. There's um, a lot of... Um, food over here. It's not badly priced actually. Here's a... Mm -hmm. 
it's a quieter soy down here. Seafood cafe and restaurant over there. A few tuk tuks coming coming through. Okay, well, that soy was quite quiet over there, so we'll just keep going down Yarrawa. We, we actually stayed at that hotel over there, guys, when we came here before COVID, the Royal Hotel. Pretty good hotel. Look at this. This is all gritted squid. All different squids on a skewer. So all the street food has just been um, getting going at the moment. Looking pretty good. Pretty lively for Wednesday night. A few people, a lot of people um, taking photos and that and footage of what's going on here. There's more drinks over there, bear milk smoothie, all those smoothies there, 50 baht. So just, just over two Australian dollars for a smoothie. The lights of uh, Chinatown. The Royal Hotel's got something going on there. It looks like it's that um, uh, festival going on there with the, all the different colour lights. I forget the name of it, Equality or whatever they call it. Look at the dumplings, guys. That look pretty cool over there. And the guy um, snapping, snapping away on his camera. Having his girlfriend or wife. Here we go, guy showing us his menu. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Prices are good. All these nice healthy drinks, thank you. Big smile on his face. Looks happy. These people, oops, sorry. These people always smiling through, yeah? Always happy. Someone's uh, wares and tears have just arrived in the van, yeah? For their um, cafes and restaurants and food stalls. That guys, there's probably not a lot of seating around the place, so you got people standing up and eating. And um, she liked that uh, her meal there. She's well, smiled to the camera. But yeah, there's not a lot of seating, um, so it's sort of first in nuts. Yeah, guy just showed me some of the chestnuts over there. And um, what are these? Some cherries, are they? These are like cherries. These are pretty, pretty good cherries. Look how big they are. Nice, nice looking cherries over there. I wonder where those. I wonder where those cherries are grown. Here's the chestnuts being um, being baked, or whatever they do to chestnuts. And here's. Um, Young lady selling her wares and tears over here. So some of the side toys actually, um, where all the clothing is, is actually um, closed because they only come out during the daytime. So. Um, 
probably won't be able to go down there because it's all all the clothing areas are closed up night times for food in Chinatown look at this guys a lot of stuff going on here I think they're doing I think they're boiling pork it's pretty warm all the cookers going over here pretty warm kind of Chinese dessert in milk mm. 60 baht here's a little soy over here the soy looks like it's quite busy they only go for a certain distance down and there's quite a few chairs and tables down here they only go for a certain distance down then they sort of become quiet so uh, there's a few there's a clothing shop open over there <laughs> selling shirts and pants and hats dresses It's um, quite a nice cool breeze blowing down the soy. Pretty cool. Look at this lady doing her skewers over here. Look at those skewers, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. Nearly got run over by a BMW. Brand new BM. Eh? What series is that? Six series BM. Look at this guys. Her food looks pretty good. Right. Big smile. That's a, sh a stall over there. Oh, look at this over here. I actually had one of these at lunch for lunch today. An oyster omelette. Beautiful, actually, guys. Beautiful. There it is. There, oyster omelette. I had one for lunch. So, so now the. The soy sort of come to a bit of an end over here because I would imagine those are a lot of sh uh, clothing shops down there and they're all closed now. Watch out. Thank you. Susan. Oh, Susan's just filming the cat over there. She's always filming these cats everywhere. Stray cats. Just ordered, we've just bought a chicken to bab each from the lovely lady over here and um, very very nice quite big 35 baht each guys nice and tender very tasty she makes quite quite a lot of different kebabs over there so um recommended down one of the soys over here off Yarrawatt Road. Beautiful. Well, guys, we'll wrap up this little segment now on um, our tour of Chinatown. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments, leave them down below for us. We'll see you in the next one.